All right, so it started at 8.34 sharp this morning. I was getting out of bed and then suddenly I had this weird chest pain. It was like a dull, aching, sort of stabbing kind of pain. It lasted for about 10 minutes. I also felt kind of lightheaded. That was only for a few seconds, like 20 seconds max. Then at about 1 p.m., all right, Doc, he took forever to get to me, and I've got a bunch of other things I could be doing right now, so let's just make it quick, all right? I mean, I know a lot of the choices that I make have really bad long-term consequences for my health here and require lots of long, meaningful discussions, but I don't got time for that. Doc, the med you prescribed me last month has not helped. My knees are still in pain, and as a matter of fact, I started having headaches which after doing my research, since you docs don't know what you're doing half the time, I found out that this medication is actually contraindicated with a condition I have and thus makes me prone to having worsened headaches. I've been coughing a lot lately, but it's cool. I found a way to take care of it. In fact, I don't really need to be here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. All, all right. Uh, thanks for your help. I'll be sure to do that. Okay, so I've been feeling a lot more fatigued lately, which is so not like me. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got a lot more going on with my life, and I could be getting a bit more sleep and slowing down a bit, but I mean, even for someone like me, this is kind of, this is kind of weird. Also, I've been sweating a lot more lately. Don't blame it on the weather. I mean, like, come on. I, I've, I've, I've done some research here, and I've been looking at the symptoms very carefully. I think I may actually have cancer here. Doc, thank you so much for all the help you've given me. Oh, you are a blessing. I'm doing so much better thanks to you. You're the best. Now, I've got a ton of friends and relatives who could really use your help, starting with my mom. See, she's been having these weird headaches lately, and I was thinking you could... Ugh, I hate being sick. Why am I not better already? Aren't you doctors doing your job right? Ugh. How is it that my predictions about my prognosis have been accurate more often than yours have been? Hmm. Well, I disagree. If you look at it this way, yeah, I can see why you think that medication would help me. However, from a holistic perspective, and also taking into account the myriad of other things that have been going on with me, that medication is also ultra risky, and this is something I actually don't want to be reckless about doing. Here, I got a better idea. How about- Look, Doc, I may not understand half the things you're telling me, but I know that the treatment you're advising is definitely not going to help me get any better. I'm going to request that you give me this new medication that I've been doing some research on. And I think you should also look into this medication as well for your own good. It could really help you diagnose and treat patients like me much more efficiently. How is it that my knowledge base about my condition is way more comprehensive than yours? Hey, uh, sorry to break it to you, but you don't seem to have good insight about the bigger picture of my illness here. I mean, you docs rely too much on standard protocols that you have a hard time using your intuition for some of these things. Doc, I've been feeling more exhausted lately. Also, my back has been hurting a bit more. Do I have cancer? Am I gonna have a heart attack? Oh shoot, what if it's like a rare bone disease or brain tumor that makes your spine get all- Hey, Doc, you seem burnt out. I can imagine how tiresome it must be to be surrounded by so many people who are undergoing so much suffering and pain, physically and emotionally. Here, before we talk about my health issues, let me give you some uplifting words of wisdom to help you get through the rest of your day in a healthy manner. Dog, I'm still not feeling well. Am I gonna die? What should I do?